There are two Vancouver Canucks prospects taken in the 2017 NHL entry draft that I want to talk about right now. Jonah Gadjevich and Petrus Palmu, because both of these guys have just recently come off of two goal games. Gadjevich playing for Team Canada against Slovakia. He got the player of the game. It was just a few minutes ago that this was concluded. Gadjevich walks away with two goals, both of which were not that individually talented kind of goals. I mean, they weren't like deke through five guys, shoot it up short side on the top cheese or whatever and score. It was good positioning. And Gadjevich gets one that's a long feed from Kale McCarr. He brings it out to the front of the net after it bounces around a little bit, shoves it in the open cage. And then there's another one that he scores on the power play where Michael McLeod is on the end boards. He throws it right across and Gadjevich with a really good tip right up and over the glove of the goaltender. He gets two really good and solid foundational goals today as Canada cruises to a good win over the Slovakians. And a lot of the goals that Gadjevich scored, a lot of the plays that he made, these were all results of good awareness, good hockey IQ, being able to know where he needs to be at a certain time on the ice, and his play today against the Slovakians, it was very good. He got the Player of the Game award, so yeah, that's awesome. He was the best player on Team Canada, according to whoever it is that decides the Player of the Game awards. That's all great. But I also want to talk about Petrus Palmu, because Palmu, playing with the TPS, with an Olivi less TPS team, because the TPS, they don't have their best defenseman, Oli Olivi, he's playing for Team Finland. Petrus Palmu, he got himself two goals, as well. This was yesterday, I'm pretty sure. So, we got a correlation between these two players, Petrus Palmu and Jonah Gadjevich. Gadjevich, I mentioned how his goals weren't really like absolute bangers of goals. They were good, smart goals, but they weren't necessarily highlight quality, like A1 chances. Petrus Palmu's goals, however, these goals were full on wrist shot, snapshot, shoot it up top cheese. Petrus Palmu's first goal of the game yesterday. He gets a feed right from the guy who's in the slot. He drops it back to Palmu. Palmu snaps it right up high. And the second goal that he scores, it's another one of those plays. He's able to absolutely roof it on his forehand right over the goalie's glove. And I'm talking about the correlation here because these two guys, Petrus Palmu and Jonah Gadjevich, two goals, and they're both Owen Sound attack line mates. Or at least they were. That line last year, it was Nick Suzuki, Jonah Gadjevich, Petrus Palmu. That line tore up the league. With our second round pick that was given to us from the Columbus Blue Jackets in exchange for John Tortorella, the Vancouver Canucks were able to select Jonah Gadjevich, one of the players who was on that line. With their seventh round pick, they took the Montreal Canadiens... Um, tryout reject player Petrus Palmu, who was playing on that other side, and so far, Palmu's been absolutely tearing it up. Nobody really talks about Petrus Palmu, but I'm going to talk about him here, because he's tearing up the TPS right now. He's not an Elias Pedersen by any means. He's not even one of the best forwards on his team, in terms of points, but he's got 19 points, 11 goals, and 34 games, and Playing as a 5'7", 179, 20-year-old, that's not bad. Playing at the highest level of Finnish hockey, and granted he's 7th on his team in points, he's got 19, and there are a lot of other forwards that have like 20+, plus. but considering the fact that this is still the highest level of hockey in Finland, and this guy, 20 years old, 5'7", is still at a good pace in terms of goals. He's got 11 goals in 34 games. Two of them came yesterday in the same game. That's great. I don't know if anybody really sees an NHL future within Petrus Palmu, but I wouldn't be surprised if he was able to do something. Because the fact of the matter is, he tore up the OHL alongside Jonah Gadjevich and Nick Suzuki. That that's kind of obvious. Considering in his last season playing with the OHL, he got 40 goals, 98 points, 62 games played. 
He was wearing an A for the Owen Sound attack. He was first on his team when it came to points. He had more points than Nick Suzuki. Granted, of course, Suzuki's younger and everything, yada yada yada. Petrus Palm was still a good player. And he's absolutely doing a good job playing with the TPS. He doesn't have Oli Olivi to pass it to, or to pass it back to him right now, because Olivi's kind of occupied. But he's still making an impact on a TPS team that doesn't have Oli Olivi, and that is awesome. And it's awesome to also see his linemate, Jonah Gadjevich, over here for Canada, tearing things up, two goals, player of the game. I think I really really want to see Petrus Palma make the league, because I see an NHL player in Gadjevich. I see a player who's already inside an NHL body. He's already got a good body suited for the NHL, it's just that he needs to tone everything else, and that's when he'll be given an opportunity in the AHL, in the NHL. I see an NHL quality player in Jonah Gadjevich. Of course, with Petrus Palmu, he's a 7th round pick, you can't really expect too much out of those guys, but the fact of the matter is, Petrus Palmu is giving us many reasons to believe that he will be an NHL player too. Whether that be on the same line as Jonah Gadjevic, or whether that be in a bottom 6 penalty killing, power play sort of specialty type role, maybe even an absolute first line elite winger, who knows? We have no idea what's going to happen to any of our prospects, but at the moment, it's great to see that they're mirroring each other's successes in different leagues, different uniforms, different teams. Gadjevich and Palmu, each with two goals. The two guys who were line mates last year. The two guys who were taken by the same team in the same draft this year. And overall, I just hope these guys maintain a good connection. Because down the line, if both of these guys are able to make the NHL, and these guys are both on the same line, that's gonna be really fun to watch. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Plus, you're not just rolling, not just gaming, and bye.